today. We are here to present this project. It's a remote control crane. We took interest in making a remote control crane. Basically because we had made other projects before, but then we didn't fully maximize the, the, the materials that come with the NXT kit. So we wanted to make something that fully utilizes the materials. That's why we came up with this remote control crane. First of all, when the NXT kit, it comes with a basic design. Something that looks like this. But then this thing has three tires. We wanted to make something that's real. That's why we had to think outside the box. Make a device that has four tires and turns like an actual car. And uh, Morris over here is going to go into detail of the hardware that is on the remote control train. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My role is to talk about the hardware of this robot. Basically, when we got them, they were, it was a kit with such pieces. Small, tiny pieces, stoppers and all these sensors, all of their own. The model which comes with the kit is this. But then, we thought out of the box, we as a team, and came up with this. So I think it's really innovative, man. And I encourage us to apply it to these principles here. Um, this, the main or oh, most important part of this robot, of this robot is the NXT head. This NXT head is what sends commands to the motors, the gears here, and the sensors via wires. Then we are using two NXT heads because we couldn't overload one NXT head since it has limited ports for the motors. This robot has about six motors and one NXT head can only facilitate about three motors. So we had to split and split the motors to three different NXT heads. Then the motors are the ones which are used to move move the robot around and this sensor is also going to be helped in moving it. Uh, good evening everyone. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the remote connection. Uh, the NXT heads are Bluetooth capable, like your phones, they can send messages via Bluetooth. Bluetooth uses electromagnetic waves moving at the speed of light. So what we did was when we discovered when we discovered that these NXT heads were capable of sending Bluetooth messages, we were able to think of a way of making a remote using one NXT head linked to another. Now, one NXT head is connected to sensors. They are attached sensors, the motors have rotation sensors and we also have ultrasonic sensors. So, we use the ultrasonic sensors to send, like, if you, if you touch the touch sensor, it will, send to what? it will send a message that it has received something, it has been touched. So, it will, you will, in the program, you will cause it to send a message to the other NXT head through the Bluetooth to activate a certain motor. So, basically, it works like a remote. We have rotation sensors. So, the rotation sensors are those ones, this one here, they are actually motors, but when you move the motors, they send, they send the current back, so the rotation sensors within here. So we use this like, the joystick, then we have the touch sensors for different movement. As you know, the crane has different kinds of movement. It can turn, it can move like the car, and yeah, those two motors, has five motors right here, and two motors here. Even if it's too straight to the real end, it's still within the wheel base which will help like, counterbalance it to remain stable. Uh, the other application is for the electromagnetic waves. And this travel at a speed of 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. That's like a quarter the radius of the earth in a second. So that means that your message will be sent over from the remote to the forklift, I mean, sorry, to the crane Actually, before you release the button, it will already be there. Then also, the other application is for the gears, whereby we are applying the mechanical advantage, whereby to have a high precision, you must have a small wheel driving the bigger one, whereby a smaller wheel go through many rotations to drive the bigger one. And that's exactly here. Now, here, we use the bigger wheel, which has 30 teeth, 
and a smaller one with 10 gear. That's a uh, mechanical advantage of roughly a bad.
Christmas programs in the, from the remote, from the remote to the dream. Controlling the arm, which is the this, and uh, the chassis, which is control, which controls, I mean the, the briefly that controls the chassis. I want to talk about the value this project has actually added to us. People have talked about teamwork, it was actually among the biggest, but then the greatest thing we've actually been able to gain from this project is the fact that we've been able to use our minds to think 